Is everything all right? The aura of death surrounds thee both. Get thee behind me! Alas, these days, stupidity is all too prevalent. You know, I never asked your names when we last met. I'm Evie Fry, and this is my brother Jacob. Tell me, do you believe in ghosts? Not particularly. Yes. I'm skeptical myself. Here we are, in the world's most advanced city. Yet its citizens are so enthralled to the supernatural, they leave themselves vulnerable to charlatans. Which is why I joined the Ghost Club. The first society in the world to look systematically at the phenomenon. Because truth, like a spirit, must be cajoled before it will reveal itself. Will you join us? Sounds absolutely ridiculous. Why not? It does sound intriguing. Splendid. I have your first case. There's been some disturbing reports about a series of assaults in Lamanu. People claim that they're being attacked by an age-old demon, spring Heel Jack. The fiend is no doubt on the prowl as we speak. It's up to you to find him. by some passers-by. Somebody has to do something before he attacks another. Looks like he ran this way.
Perhaps the legend is true and he does have giant claws. Looks like he ran this way. A heavily guarded warehouse. Hmm. I wonder what they're heavily guarding.
Fry. I brought some books. I hope I'm not intruding by being here. Quite the contrary. It's nice to have the company. A herbarium? Are you collecting flowers for someone? Only myself. I'm told it's something of a British pastime. Did you know, they all have symbolic meanings. I had heard something of the sort. Of course you have. Unfortunately, I have no time to fill the book. I could collect some samples, if you would accept my help. I would appreciate that. Thank you, Miss Fry. has come for Jacob. Now that I've got rid of that Elliotson fellow, I wonder who makes the medicine. Oh well. You seem tired, friend. Everything all right? There's always too much work to do. Today's Ghost Club investigation involves a carriage. It's said to be covered with gold leaf. 
dazzling passers-by when the sun shines. Naturally, it's rumored to be haunted. Now let's see if we can find it. You think you're safe from me over there? One more come over and teach you a lesson. The Royal Mail coaches vanished when the post began to be transported by rail. Oh, I'd rather enjoy a sit down. But duty calls. That's curious. You're safe. You don't have to worry anymore. Oh, you saved me! That wretch would have forced me to marry him within the hour! I must return home!
gotta go. Come on. and saved my life. I am Elizabeth. Won't you climb down and sit beside me so that I might see your face? Where is she? You look as though you're just about to collapse. What on earth has happened? Just a dream. Or so I think. Heads up, Chief. Thanks. Sir, the engine's just pulled into Waterloo. Once Stark's men arrive, they're gonna unload the train. Well, not if the train has already left. Assemble a team at Charing Cross. I'll send the engines there for you to recover. Gentlemen, I apologize for the delay. We will get you 
enter the Central Station very soon. Where the hell is that schedule? Central Station's closed. Attaway's orders. <laughs> Did you not? Were you aware of this flaw? It's only a minor weakness, sir. The final wagon's otherwise 45. <laughs> Central Station. My colleagues should be here shortly with the schedule for the Central Station. We thank you. without my direction. My direction comes from the station, Chief. What could be causing this delay? tricks. What's he doing here? Today's your lucky day. My colleagues should be here shortly. Here's your damn schedule. Oh, I... Thank you. Attention, passengers. All trains are being diverted to Central Station. I repeat, make your way to Central Station for departures. I need to get to the Central Station.
What a shame. Good partnerships are hard to come by. Ours is most certainly dissolved. It's business, Mr. Fry. One does what one must to come out on top. Crawford will not take the news of my death lightly. He can be... unpleasant when he's cross. I have sacrificed so much. I don't want to lose my buses. When coldness or deceit shall slight the beauty now they prize, and deem it but a faded light which beams within your eyes, when hollow hearts must wear a Mr. Starrick, I told you not to disturb me!
to break your own to see in such a moment I would ask that you remember me that you Crawford. A luster stripped by the hands of that savage. He must be brought to justice. Pearl would not want justice. Pearl would want vengeance. Passion is most welcome, Miss Thorne. But we cannot let our emotions disrupt the lawful structures of society. If we do that, the enemy wins. It shall happen in the shadows. Miss Fry will hang from the gallows, and I will flay her brother as he comes to save her. I suppose it must be done. Take no chances. Increase the Templar presence in London. We alone protect this city of light. Yes, Crawford. And then we shall enter the vault and cast aside the shadows together. A letter? For me? What have we here? Boiler, this dredge character's meddling will be the death of us. He was loitering around the exchange today, asking far too many questions about the bank. Should he discover my plan, you will face a far worse fate than losing your job. Signed, Plutus. So this Plutus is Starek's banker, hmm? I wager dredge will lead me to him. While you're out and about, do attempt not to destroy modern medicine or the London transportation network. Don't make me laugh. Innocent lives hang in the balance. They depend on this city. I'm not the one who let Lucy Thorne walk away. A mistake I intend to rectify immediately. A letter? For me?